Patrick from Williamsburg Blue Power Games Galore here and welcome back to another video and welcome back to Senior Spotlights, the series where I talk about seniors that have either graduated this year or will be graduating next year that have played either varsity baseball or varsity softball and I will be giving you their stats and I will be talking about what they what positions they've played during their career and sharing how they've played from my perspective and I will be sharing my favorite moments and plays from that player and today I will be talking about Kendall Norris and Giovanna Tomasello and let's get into it so Kendall Norris and Giovanna Tomasello Kendall Norris was number 14 and Giovanna Tomasello was number seven. And starting off with the stats. So the 2020-21 season, Kendall Norris played 19 games. She had five runs, 14 hits, 10 RBIs, two doubles, no triples, two homers, and no grand slams. Giovanna Tomasello was number 15. She played four games. She had no runs, no hits, no RBIs, no doubles, no triples, no home runs, and no grand slams. And then for the 2021-22 season, she played 13 games. She had 15 runs, 22 hits, 12 RBIs, one double, no triple, and three homers, and no grand slams. Giovanna Tomasello played three games. She had no runs, no hits, no RBIs, no doubles, no triples, and no homers, and no grand slams. And then for both of their senior years, the 22-23 season, this is where Giovanna Tomasello was number seven. And she played 20 games. She had no runs, four hits, three RBIs, no doubles, no triples, no homers, and no grand slams. And Kendall Norris, she played 21 games. She had seven runs, 21 hits, six RBIs, four doubles, no triples, no home runs, and no grand slams. So that's Kendall Norris and Giovanna Tomasello's stats. So I don't specifically remember what position Giovanna Tomasello played. I don't even think she played any position on defense. I do know for Kendall Norris, she played as the third base woman, you could say. And so starting off with Giovanna Tomasello, she didn't play too badly. Now I gotta note to you viewers that I didn't I didn't really do many varsity softball games during the season this year because I had varsity baseball happening at the exact same time and I was only able to do the softball games when the boys were on the road. So I didn't do many softball games. So Javon Tomasello didn't really do too badly. I mean, even though she didn't really have any RBIs, I mean she almost had a triple in one of the games, but she was out at third. But I think overall, she played really well. I mean, she gave it her best. That's all that matters in, in a sport. Even though you don't get any home runs or RBIs or anything like that, as long as you gave it your best, you know, that's all that matters. As for Kendall Norris, she also didn't do too badly. She actually did really good. She had them RBIs and... I think that she did really good on defense. Now, obviously, there were some mistakes that were made, and I'm not going to blame her for them. But overall, she played really well, both on offense and defense. And now going to my favorite moments, starting off. So speaking of that triple, that would have to be one of my favorite moments, even though it was not even close. You know, she gave it her best, and... It was nice and close. So I'm just going to play you a clip of that for you right now. And I'm not sure which team we played. 
when this happens. So here's the clip. Now up, Javon Tomasello. First pitch, hits it deep, and a base hit. Tomasello looking to go for two, and she's going to three. And she's unfortunately out. Almost a very good play. That was my favorite Giovanna Tomasello moment. As for Kendall Norris, these would be considered my favorite Kendall Norris moment and Kendall Norris play. Now before I get to the play and moment, Kendall Norris was actually the person that got me into doing play-by-play -play for varsity softball. At the first game, I didn't really do too much. I maybe did like a little bit, but then the second game, she told me to start doing it. Or maybe it was the first game she told me to start doing it. And once I started doing it, I knew what I was doing and I got used to it. So that's who inspired me to start doing play-by-play -play for varsity softball. As for the plays and moments, it would have to be all of her RBIs that I have been able to get on tape. So here are Kendall Norris's RBIs as my favorite moments and plays. Here they are. Here's the 1 0 count. She hits it. Base it. Harnish to third, and now she's going to go to the plate. She's home. It's an RBI double for Kendall Norris. Williamsburg has their first run of the game. First pitch is hit. And it's not caught. Verona is home. And now it's 7 5 West Branch. Deficit is now down to two. First pitch is hit. And out of first. And she's safe. And Harnish is safe at home. Now it is eight to seven, Most Shannon Valley. These were my favorite Kendall Norris plays and moments, and I can't wait to do varsity softball next year, and I can't wait to do them home games. I'm so looking forward to it. Carol Lansbury, Billy Harnish, and all the other seniors. I can't wait to watch them. And can't wait. So that's going to do it for today's Senior Spotlights video. Thank you for watching. As always, if you like content like this, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell so you can be notified when a new video comes up on the channel. And be sure you share these videos. If there's any fans that you know of that enjoy watching Williamsburg sports, be sure you share these videos. And the Q&A video will be happening on Thanksgiving. So if you viewers have any questions, you can, you can put them down in the comments below or you can put them on the community post. I have posted a community post and you can also, you can also put them in the, I will also be posting this on the Williamsburg Blue Pirate Games Galore Facebook group. So you can put your comments and questions down there. And that's going to do it for today's video. Thanks. Thank you viewers for watching. And until the next video, this is Patrick from Williamsburg Blue Pirate Games Galore, signing off.